Hey guys, welcome back to Six Cars. So we are actually in Toronto. If you don't know, the channel Six Cars is named after the six. So it's only fitting we're finally back in Toronto doing some car content. So a few different things on tap for today's video. Um, we're actually going to be checking out the world's first RWB 912. So Nakai Sun is in town building the car. So we'll get a little bit of him building the car. I don't want to really like disturb him while he's at work so probably just some short clips here and there then they are hosting a meet to show off the finished product where we'll get a better look at the rwb 912 and possibly a couple other rwbs too and then from there we're gonna head to more of a classic german car meet to finish off the video so it's gonna be jam-packed it's gonna be wicked so you already know what to do guys subscribe if you haven't already like drop the comments Let's get at it. Okay, so as I mentioned, it's a bit of a tight squeeze in there, and obviously Nakai is hard at work with the 912, but we can see it there, the first ever 912 RWB in the world here in Toronto. It's just getting the finishing touches put on it. I think they're spray painting the idler's tire rating on the side. And then we do have a 993 sitting here as well, which uh, there's a rumor about that being built too, but now we have confirmed there is a 993 Cabrio, but yeah. I will walk around the car, get some beauty shots of it, probably won't do much talking, it's just going to be like b-roll, just so you guys can get a look at it, and then we will discuss after and see the finished product. Okay, so we got beauty shots the other day, and now we'll see it outside when Nakai is not working on it and we don't need to disturb him. That is the first RWB 912 built. So, a lot of cool touches. I do like the retrofitted headlights. Sort of reminds me of the 964. The RWB badge instead of the Porsche badge is a different touch I have not seen before. But other than that, it's um, pretty much the same like RWB formula. The wide body, the big old rubberized front splitter, uh, the canards and yeah, the multi spoke wheels look really good. The idlers on the side, the roof rack is a really nice touch, really goes with the classic theme of the 912. And then I think the most interesting part is at the back with that new style rear wing they have. So I want to go take a look at that. Yeah, this is the most interesting part to me is the back. This wing is completely brand new. Uh, you can see the side supports full carbon fiber. I pulled a bit of the staircase wing because as you can see, three tiers with the duck bill, and then you've got the two winglet on top of it as well it's pretty uh unique and yeah you can see it just bolted on very um cutthroat style from that guy you can see it's not completely done yet there's still lacking windows only one driver's seat uh the roof rack is a really cool touch maybe throw some skateboards or like a picnic basket on that uh the other interesting part about the car is underneath the trunk is actually a subaru engine so i'm not entirely sure which subaru engine it is i would assume maybe an ej uh, would seem to make the most sense. I think the car is all-wheel drive too. Yeah, you can see um, totally got it. Just a can of WD-40 sitting in the RWB 912. We have the RWB 993 Cabrio that Nakai Sun also built yesterday. Not the first in the world, but still very cool. It's nice white on Workmeister's Versatec seats. And yeah, it was just kind of wrapping up here. It was really hard to film before because as you might be able to hear in the background, a lot of music, so we're gonna get a copyright strike, but we did at least get to see that 912. I think they're gonna be moving now too. So yeah, as I mentioned before, it is a Subaru engine that is going into the 912, so it's not in it right now, but it is sitting here, all polished up, looking pretty, getting ready to go in. I think, yeah, you can see the RWB 912 signature on it, so that should be pretty ballistic. I don't know too many RWBs that have engine swaps in them, well, to a whole different OEM, but this 912 is pretty much a first for everything, as I did mention. And now that it's inside, yeah, I get a better look at some of the finer details, those retrofitted headlights really, really pop. This dark forest green color, really, really nice. Gives it that very um, like retro look and just accents these roof racks so nicely. I've never seen this 
before on RWB, so I think that is another first for it to be fashioned with a roof rack from Nakai-san himself. That is just so cool, and then yeah, bare bones, nothing going on in the inside yet. So it's pretty cool just being in the shop, you can see the massive RWB boxes that get shipped in with all of the new body parts, you can see all the little cut up fenders and bits that are still hanging around here all signed by the legend Nakai Sun himself. Pretty damn cool. And then we do have another RWB that joined the party here, the 993 Squeaker. This one was already built, so not a new build. Uh, I think it's still fairly new, like maybe last year. So we have a Suika, meaning watermelon in Japanese, finished in that bright green, so obviously makes sense. And this one does have the more traditional RWB, like sort of like classic style GT wing on the back. Whereas you saw in the 912, it has the staircase wing, as I pointed out, quite a bit different from the standard RWB builds, but that's what makes it really, really cool, is that it is basically, well it is, it's not basically, it is a world's first, and you can see the difference between the classic 993 kits to the brand new 912, super, super cool. Yeah, so now that it's not as crowded as it was outside, another look at what I dub as the staircase wing. So one, two, three different levels. Got the duck tail on the bottom, and then you got the, like, the double GT wing on the back. And yeah, as we saw outside, the mount is so different from any other RWB wing that I've ever seen. And you can see just bolting on to the back, um, kind of crudely, which is what makes RWBs so cool. Yeah, just briefly saw the new 993 Cabrio outside. So yeah, this one is um, not like a new build for Nakai or anything, but still looks absolutely fantastic. As I pointed out, the Workmeisters do suit it really well. White looks so good on this car. The Bride Vertex seats. And then, yeah, you can see in the shop a lot of cool cars in the background too. The 993, I think it's a Club Sport, the 996 G3 RS. Um, that looks to be a spoon. S2000, Spooner Muse, and then the Veil side, RX7 over there. So tons of cool cars lurking around. So yeah, one, two, three RWBs in total here. One being a world's first two new brand new builds <laughs> present here at Gzox Canada. Pretty damn cool, I must say, to be able to witness some of the build process, see the finished product. Up close, always a treat when a new RWB enters the world. And we got two of them at once, plus a returning fan favorite. Okay, yeah, the Vulture Sunday Classic. So it's pretty much all German cars. A, a ton of cars, actually. It's a really good turnout. A lot of clean stuff, too, like every generation of BMW M3, Volkswagens, Porsches, Mercedes. This is uh, really cool, this old <laughs> Beetle here. And look at that, the Arizona. Ice tea can, just chilling. I like the picnic basket on the roof rack. Nice touch, very reminiscent of the uh, RWB 912 actually, so pretty fitting. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, have a look through here, see what we can see. There's definitely no shortage of cool stuff. It's a cool little E30 Cabrio on the BBS wheels. Very, very nice. But yeah, let's uh, have a gander. Two clean E30s. I think this is like the most popular car these days in the German circle, the E30 M3. Uh, the white and the gold like mesh wheels. I don't even know what brand that is, but over here we flip to the silver one. We've got the really nice looking HREs, definitely. Suits the car very well. It gives it that classic slammed look. Very, very nice. Nice rare 318i BMW. Don't see too many of these, but then if we get up close, well, DBS is uh, nice as always, but it looks like it has an M inline at six swapped into it. I know, I think these generally came with four cylinders, so this would be an engine swap. I don't know which M variant this is coming from. I would assume maybe an M3 with being the inline six, but um, that is really cool. And they're very, very tiny cars all in terms of BMWs. So probably goes like crazy. And then you shift over there, really nice 997 GT3 on the gold BBSs. Looks absolutely fantastic. My personal favorite generation of the GT3, the 997. Still looking good today. You take a look at this Volkswagen Corrado, you'll notice it has the sort of like Porsche 
911 Carrera signature design on the side, and there's a good reason for that. Look at that. We've got a Porsche engine swap under the hood of the Corrado, the 3.6 liter. Really, really cool. The Corrado is a very nice looking car too. The design is aged very, very well. Opal Speedster, very cool. I think there's only like maybe two or three of these lingering around Ontario. So this is pretty cool to see. If you grew up playing like old Gran Turismo, Sega GT, Forza Motorsport, anything like that, you'll probably recognize this car. Uh, basically, uh, a German Lotus Elite. So yeah, it could be offered as an Opal Speedster or a Vauxhall VX220, depending on the market. So left or right hand drive. This one is from Germany. So left hand drive. And if you come up close to it, it's pretty bare bones in the interior. Basically you get a steering wheel and a shifter. So uh, apparently it's a blast to drive. I think one of my favorite parts about it is just the back here. This double stacked center exit exhaust is really, really cool. And always a nice little treat to see an Opal Speedster around outside of Europe. sunburst yellow that is very cool alpina b10 3.6 liter very nice on the old 5 series um yeah alpines are always cool to see but check out inside a little piece of alpina memorabilia the alpina typewriter according to the owner alpina started making typewriters in 1961 before they started doing the car stuff in 1965 so look at that He's even got the uh, model name typed out there with all the specs on the typewriter. 1989 Alpina B10. <laughs> That's a um, pretty cool little touch. I've never seen a car holding a typewriter in it before made by the same brand. Interior on this BMW. Look at me. And the red BBSs are pretty interesting, but check out the interior. It's all carpeted. Look at that. It's like straight out of an old, an old castle or something with these rugs on the bottom. <laughs> interesting. There we go, just as I was about to head out and heading to the underground section. Apparently this is where some JDM stuff is lurking. We've got a nice 2.5 GT TR34 hanging around there. We've got a pair of Mark IV Super, that's really nice. This, well, it looks to be a modded EP3 with the old school Integra there. Pretty dumped, very nice looking. And yeah, let's have a swing around here at the Civic and the Supras. Yeah, flip around, a nice boosted EP3. Check it out under the hood, all the K tune parts, that big old intake under there. Looks pretty darn good. EP3 is nice and underrated, I would say. Um, yeah, Mark IV Supra number one, finished in silver. There's a nice 46 heading out on the two 37s. A few cars heading out actually. And yeah, Mark IV Supra number two. I really, really do like this one. The wheels suit it very nicely, the multi spokes, and it has some like TRD styling bits on it as well. That looks like sort of the TRD 3000 GT wing, if I'm remembering it correctly. And you get these little side intakes on the modified side skirts as well. That is pretty darn cool. So nice to see some JDM content as always. Definitely a favorite of the six cars. Nice little EK Civic coupe hiding down here too in the nice blue with the carbon fiber hood, the sparkle wheels looking very nice. Mark III Super as well. We saw the Mark IVs back there. Mark III does age pretty nicely though. And so E36 M3 sedan too. Don't see too many of the sedans. Like most of the ones you see here are the coupes. So the sedans are pretty rare and nice to see. This time around six cars with the first RWB 912 and then following it up with a little German classic theme. So thanks for tuning in as always and the magic words, subscribe, like, comment, share to keep the good
time's rolling, and I will see you guys next time.